My major achievement through this first year as a sophomore scholar has been the development of my self-confidence as an artist and designer. This would probably be my second favorite class, um, industrial design. I have a passion for fashion, so I end up doing fashion design. I grew up in Haiti. I hope to be able to design buildings so that it's earthquake proof. I've always dreamt of becoming an interior designer and each of the workshops and seminars have reaffirmed that dream. One of my favorite workshops was the Jello ideation program. We got to work with some really great mentors, Carla and Mike. And then when we finally got there, it didn't stop. We were just so excited the whole time. The instructor that we had, he was probably one of the most amazing teachers there because he pushed you to do your best. Mark and Sherry are like great, just great people to be around. Talking to them and like seeing how they, like, they run their studio and how they go through like the normal day of being a designer is just like impacted my life so much. The thing that Nigel taught me is that don't draw one big, one big drawing, draw many little ones and choose from those which one you would want. I got to look at different designers' portfolios and their profiles and see their resumes and help like allocate them for different positions with these big companies, so it was really cool. One of my most exciting parts was the site visit. I can't tell you the client, but I can tell you that it's really going to look awesome when it's done. It's Skidmore Owens. It's one of the largest architecture companies in the world. And it was a great opportunity for me to work for them. I feel very honored and I'm very prideful about it. When I tell people where I'm working, I'll tell them I'm working for SOM in New Jersey. I worked with Mark and everybody else in the studio to kind of come up with the colors and how it's going to be designed. I got to see the pressure. There's a lot of critique, there's a lot of competition, but I think that it really is worth it at the end of the day. One of my um, primary ideas as a designer, as a young teenage designer, is something called the designer's eye. I just want to thank the Cooper Hewitt staff for making this entire opportunity possible and for opening, well, and for reopening my designer's eye. Thank you.